Applejack, that Macintosh wants wrong. Ain't you glad to see me? Glad to see you? Apple, what the hoo-ha do you think you're playing at? Riding the rails alone at your age? Why, anything could have happened to you. And as for sneaking off without telling no pony? Why, I ain't never heard the like of it in all my life. Do you know how worried Granny Smith probably is right now? She probably has the whole homestead out looking for you. I, I left a note on the kitchen counter for her. Oh, how thoughtful. You should have left yourself right where you were. What the heck were you thinking? Uh, uh. Well, I'm waiting. I was thinking you'd be happier to see me than this. And why in the name of all that shining would you think that? You left home without a word in the dead of night. Traveled through miles and miles of dark underground tunnels on that there train. And you were alone where anything could have happened to you and no pony would have known. But it didn't. Nothing bad happened to me. That ain't the point. You could have been snatched by a stranger. You could have fallen off the platform under the rails. You could have been trampled by ponies pulling an incoming train. You could have been mugged for that there bag you're hauling. You could have been fallen out by somebody... Somebody who do... <gasps> Just because these things didn't happen don't mean they couldn't have. You could have been hurt or killed or worse. And all because you snuck off and did such a darn fool thing is... Just want to see my big brother and sister... That's enough out of both y'all. She started it. Apple Bloom. Sorry, Big Macintosh. And so you should be. Apple Jack. What? Don't go expecting me to say sorry just because you said my name in that tone. You ain't the boss of me, Macintosh. <sighs> Seems to me every pony here is too riled up right now to have a civil conversation. This ain't the kind of thing to yell about in public. It's family business. So I suggest we go get some breakfast, and then try this conversation again on Full Belly. Oh no, we're having this out now! Applejack, you're more head up than an engine with no coolant and a temperature gauge in the red zone right now. You're yelling because you was scared. Now you found out Apple Bloom's okay, you're lashing out at her. Now, before you say something you might regret, you better dial back your attitude. My attitude? Yep. You're a fine one to talk about attitude. What about your... Fine. All right, then. First breakfast. Then we talk. Good. But we will talk, Apple Bloom. This is a brief reprieve. It ain't you being let off the hook. And you better thank your brother, because if I had my way, we'd be buying you a one-way ticket back to Hydro Ponyville right now. Thank you, Macintosh. Come on, man. Put that bag of yours on my back and let's see about that breakfast. I got it. <clears throat> okay then. How about sugar cube corn? They should be open at this time of the morning. I'm in the mood for muffins. <laughs>